Next load. This load. Oh, oh I'm waiting on this guy to go jingle. What are we doing, man? Afuera, let's move, but All right, um. Next load. Welcome back to the Trucker Brown channel and show. Well, we have decent trucking conversations and we vlog the day at the same time. I'm on my next load. What's the load looking like, TB? What they say in the comments. Load is looking like 700 miles for $2,100, 42,000 pounds. Yes, everything here is heavy. Should you take heavy loads? We'll talk about it today on the Brown Channel. Chef could get you a plate. Think I'm a boxer, I'm making a weight. That nigga lying, see it in his face. He just be whining, he won't bust a grape. He say he won't smoke, but not really, he vape. He tried to run, he was square out of shape. I'm right in that pen, I won't. I've been in the game for a while. Not too long. But I've been in it long enough to heard a thing or two about a thing or two. And one of the things I used to hear in the uh, lease op, owner op watering hole. I used to hear, I don't take nothing over 35,000 pounds. If you've heard this, comment under the video and comment under the video and say I've heard this. Also, remember, I got links in the comments and in the descriptions. You can go check them out for all the things that I offer and whatever products, new products that I've been working on. So check those links out. But, um, I heard that and I was like, Wow, and I you for a minute I, I I bit the cheese, as PH would say. I bit the cheese. I thought yeah, that does that sounds right. And, and, and some of the things people would tell me, oh well, if it's that heavy, you're really burning up all your profit. So I don't haul nothing over thirty-five thousand pounds. And I tried to follow that for a while, denying loads that were forty thousand, forty-one, forty-two, denying these loads. I only want 35,000, nothing over 35,000. Oh, that's too heavy. I don't want that. I kept saying no. Now, depending on your situation, I guess it does make sense. If you have that good situation, first thing you need to do is evaluate if you're in that situation to be denying those loads. Okay, another thing taken into consideration is the terrain. What if it's flat like where I'm at right now? You know, what if it's flat like this? Are you not gonna take a 42,000 pound load going um, 600 miles flat terrain, going to Texas, going to 600 miles flat terrain for 2,100? I want y'all to tell me, was that too heavy? Was that too heavy? That's, that's too heavy, I don't want that. I don't, I don't want, that's too heavy. It's flat terrain, it's not gonna be much hill climbing. You know, get, get the sweet spot on your truck, ride it all the way down. 600 miles. Uh, I think it has another stop that's like another 100 miles. It makes it like 700. And um, and then you keep on moving. And it's uh, drop a hook on both ends. Should I have not taken that load? I, you know, I, you know, when I hear people talk, people talk like there is some wizard tree or they're just awesome at picking loads. We're going to pose the question on this channel. We're going to pose the question and let it fight it out in the comments. This was just too heavy. Called a buddy of mine, yeah, man, oh, well, I'm gonna have to low, oh man, I think it's gonna be like 43 after everything. Man, y'all be hauling heavy stuff. That's too heavy. You put wear and tear on the tractor, which I'm not denying, yeah. You know, you put wear and tear on the tractor, wear and tear on your tires, like, on your shocks. You know, they need to pay more than that if it's gonna be 43,000 pounds. I wanna know, was that too heavy? You know, I want I want y'all to sit back and talk about it. You know, I and mean, we're starting to vlog off like this, where we're gonna um, sit back and talk about it, and uh, then we'll move on with the rest of the day. But that I want to know: was this too heavy? Should I have not taken this? Put that in the comments below. Checking in at 
12.55. I have my load. Quick drop and hook, didn't have to wait at all. Now it's time for the part that most of the rookies hate, the backing in of the shipper. All right, now. To me, most of it's set up. Um, I know mo a lot of people are, they get to this point, they're really scared and, and uh, country music came on. Yes, I listen to country music and I enjoy it thoroughly. Jason Aldean, I am a serious fan. Uh, one second. Come on, people. Come on. Come on, people, let me on out. Main thing is the speed of what you're doing at the at, at the shipper. Um, uh, uh, keep you know keep your seatbelt on, go at decent speed. I'm doing this angle for you to see what I'm what I'm looking back for is those tandems. You know you don't you don't you don't play around with the tandems. Now I'm in a situation where uh, I can do a straight back. If I can do a straight back or a pull through, I do. Especially at a shipper. If I could do a, a pull back, uh, I mean a pull through or something like that, I do that. But this was a straight back. All I have to do is do a U turn, and I can straight back it into a nice safe spot, and I don't have to do no no other stuff that you know I can do, but I don't I don't have to do it. When I don't have to do it, I don't. Old man once told me in trucking. He said the best. He said the best spot go for is the one you can straight back or you can um, just pull through. So the best way to avoid an accident in backing is not to do it too much. It's not to do it when you don't have to. And the ancient proverb, I forget the dude's name, is the best war fought is one I fought at all. I probably said that wrong, but it's somewhere around there. You know, if I can... Get it in the hole without doing a whole bunch of extra acrobatics, I will. You know, and whole say, oh, that's because you ain't a good backer. Well, that may be true. That may be true. But one thing I learned about the game is in is in. Regardless if you're a good backer or not, in is in. In is in, and checks are checks. So, really, does it matter who's the almost awesome backer? Really? Oh, yeah. Puppies in. All right. Oh, did I do all my calls like I was supposed to? Let's check my calls. Uh -huh. All right. This load didn't have to be picked up to 11:23 tonight. I mean, 20:23:49 uh, tonight. But still, I still messed up. I came in here and I didn't send my arrival call immediately. I was tight for time. I would have got a uh, uh, one of those uh, a bad service mark on me because they would have still the computer would consider consider me late.
seatbelt is on. What do you do now, Trucker Brown? Well, first of all, I need to tell him I'm dropping this trailer. Go down. Come on, man. Notice I'm not going fast. I do it. Aiming at the tires. With the tires, I'm going to aim my uh, left drive as I'm bobtailing towards around the corner area. It's not going to be perfect, but in that in that general vicinity, I'm going to go under. Oh yeah, I'm in. Forward tug test. See, I'm not in. Let me go. You can throw down the street and drop the trailer. Oh yeah, I heard the lock. Let's try it again. Or tug test. I'm in there. Oh yeah. Now I do have an APU. I'm cutting. I am cutting my uh, truck off. Why don't you just leave the truck running, truck Brown? Well, I'm trying to save all the MPGs I could possibly get. That's just what it is. Also, this does affect you when you're dealing with a um, a mega carrier company because they pay attention to your idle time. And your idle time can also be factored into a whole bunch of other crap, dude. Just ask them how they handle idle time. But they're looking. That call com tells them. So they know. Fasten it down first. stop sign, make sure you look left, make sure you look right. Let me see something about DOT. They want that sweet meat at you. They want that thigh meat! Now, with DOT, there's something you gotta learn. It's called CYA. Cover your, and you know the rest. I'm trying to do better. On Cover your butt, okay? I look at the cat scale ticket 
as a road condom. Because you don't know if that scale at the DOT ain't calibrated right. They got calibrated, come out there, calibrate their stuff just like everybody else got. So how you know that, that they ain't calibrated right? Y'all gotta be wary at the top. Any railroads now. Gotta be wary at the railroads. You don't know if they stuff is calibrated right. What what if they off? See now from my understanding, cat scale ticket. If they calibrating is off and they try to ban you, but you got a cat scale ticket to say that you right, the cat scale people eat the ticket. Y'all tell me if that's right or not. Was I lied to? Comment down at the bottom. Get yourself a scale ticket. 
uh, if you company, most likely they pay for your scale tickets. If you company, you getting scale tickets free anyway. So why ain't you went up there and got yourself no scale ticket? You don't even know, do you? You just want to be lazy. Then you want to complain about DOT because he want to get all up in your thigh meat. Now you're mad. But you ain't do what you're supposed to do. Take responsibility. First place I'm going after I pick up at my old one is the dang on scale house. First place I'm going. Right up here close when I can find. I get my road condom, which is what I call a cat scale. I get my cat scale ticket, put it right with my other paperwork, and I wish someone would pull me in the freaking play. I did my pre-trip, all my lights is good, none of my lines is leaking, all my airbags is Gucci. I wish they'd pull me in there. Oh, they dropping the speed on us, see? That's why you gotta stay vigilant out here in the streets. I was going 40, they done dropped it down to the 30 mile an hour, see? You gotta watch that. Call that a thigh meat trap. Making my left turn, my signal light is on. I'm trying to brake softly as much as needed. Oh yeah. One other turn gets to my drives. I hook the left. Make sure I do not hit the curb. I don't want to mess up my steers. Steers are expensive. There is no car in front of my tandems. I am watching it. Gotta make another immediate right. My right left signal is on. Watching out for this truck with the trailer. I see this idiot right here too. You're gonna wave him on because you need some of his space. See? See, he's slow. He don't get it. Uh, 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 I don't, uh, I don't, uh, I don't, uh. Mm, look, look, look how disrespectful they are. Bang, another lady. Come on, yes, lady. This is a truck route. Says it right there. Thank you. All right, going all. See, I needed all her space over here. I needed all this. Needed all this. Set it up. Be patient. Don't, don't be wild now. Don't get your blood pressure all up. Just chill. All these people got money over here. I see bands all with this going on. Real good over here. Real good. Look at him. He got old. He got the hot boy charge ch challenger. No, he think he popping in the street. What's going on, Gladys? How you doing? It's your new car. How you know how I'm doing in the streets, Gladys? Getting that thigh meat out of Gladys. All right, stop sign. I'm looking left. I'm looking right. Now we're going forward. Now. Do y'all think it's a waste of time for me to go up here and get this cat scale? Y'all let me know. Oh, got a little time meet on the side of the road. Oh, shout out. Look at that old Camaro right there. <laughs> I like cars more than a thigh meet. That's a dang old shame. I'm about to get all in the thigh meet and I see that old that, uh, 70 Camaro. I'm like, oh, I'm going to look at this over here. Ooh, yeah. I'm at the line. Why do we not pull all the way up in the front when we're about to make a left to left or right turn at an intersection? Why? Hmm? Why? I get up there and make sure I can see. Fuck a bind. I'm sure you do. Uh-huh. A lot of people done got hit on this yield or flashing situation. I make sure everything's good before I hop out there. That blinking yellow light don't mean just hop on out there. Why don't I pull all the way up? Because you don't know. If I'm coming off a truck route. The shipper's right back there where we just came from. You don't know who's going to be coming up here and buck that left. You want to give space to the tractor trailer that's going to try to make that left turn in front of you. That's why you don't pull all the way up to the front, taking away all his, uh, his, his room. You would know that if you paid attention to the game. But you're going to learn. What are you going to learn with TB? That that means. Gonna get that thigh meat up. No. Timmy, what do you mean by that thigh meat? They're gonna hit that pocketbook, that wallet. Give you all a dramatic pause. They're gonna hit that wallet for them tickets or that accident you're gonna get in. Thigh meat! I just yell at Randy. That's just what I want y'all to do, man. Hey, TV, what's going on?
the people that's into that net. Look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. She is going. What am I thinking? She going 22 miles an hour in a 40. Pulled out. Didn't even try to hit the gas. The screwed up thing. If she don't never get hit, that's a good car to buy from her old tail because she don't never hit the gas on it. Anyway, but no, you know, you you know, it, it's just we trying to be positive over here, man. We trying to move forward. We trying to do better, and um, and back to the basics over here for a couple months, man. Back to the basics, basic enjoyable content that lifts you up, make you feel good, man. All that other stuff, we gonna make y'all feel good these days. We need to go up here and get this cat scale ticket, and then we can head towards Houston, Texas. Have you ever been at the Yummy Ice Cream in Houston? This place is tight. I mean, come on, people. The freaking... Really? It's gonna be annoying. I already know it. First thing I need to do is get situated. Backing up. And this is my opinion. Setting up is half the battle. Put me in a wild at wild bay. I like nah, bro. You want this done? It's gonna be bay one, Pepe. Don't be scared to say that, man. When you in little tight situations like this, and they be expecting you to do magic. I'm not here to do magic. I'm here to get the truck where it need to be, in the door safely. I'm not interested in doing a a, a ball a, a baller um, backing maneuver and feeling good about myself. I don't care. I want the load off so I can make money. That's the point of me being here. Safest way I can get that done is a good day of me. So right now, what I'm trying to do is get my tandems slid as far left as possible, as close to everything on the left side as possible, so I can do my little swing situation and hopefully I can put it in. Now I'm backed up, move the tail end of the trailer left a little bit. I'm visually looking at each um. Each uh, mirror. Now that I'm gonna snug to the left. I'm gonna look in this left mirror over here and make sure these tandems is close to what I need to be close to, but not too close. Remember, you have to um, you have to think about the swing. You can't just be getting super close to stuff and then hooking it, and then you're gonna rip somebody's grill off the front of their uh, SUV. They're not gonna be happy about it. They're not gonna be happy about it. waiting on that truck right there to get out the way and I'm gonna have to swing I'm gonna have to swing out there what I'm gonna try to do I'm gonna go out then I'm gonna try to put my nose up in that corner and then I'm just gonna try to wiggle that John in that's that's the best I can do because if you're looking at it from this angle I don't have much serpentine maneuver work if my nose start pointing my nose start pointing that way I don't have that much movement before I hit that yellow that yellow bar that yellow bar right yonder. So um, at least I got <sighs> me some time to get my stuff to get up and he's moving. Okay. Alright, we should get that hood in there so y'all have some good references. Yeah, that goes, that's the last stop. No, no, the, the people over there waiting for you. What do you have in the, Dallas or Houston? Houston. See, see, they, 
See how they set it up on the computer? O2. You go O1 is where you pick up, O2 is where you drop off. This is uh, yummy ice cream is where I'm supposed to be at to drop this. And then after that, 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, I got to be in Dallas. So is that a bad thing? Is something wrong? Yeah, because the problem is that you have to call on it first. Oh. Yeah, because the people are waiting for you. I don't know how the people know the truck. They're waiting for me. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense because my appointment with them isn't till tomorrow, six o'clock in the morning. Uh, let me let me call the dispatcher. Yeah, check it out before we do See, that. it says yummy ice cream. The co uh, in Colony, Texas, twenty seven oh six hundred. Let me call him. So you want me to wait to back in the door? Yeah, wait, wait. All right. This is gonna take. Unless I just have an awesome backing situation. What I want y'all to understand is, look, man, some stuff is tight. Look how tight that is. Some stuff is tight. You will get to the point where you know how to do it. You know, don't get down on it and be like, oh, it took me a million tries. You get frustrated. You got to stop sometimes. Come away from it. Breathe. It takes time. You can do anything you want in this trucking game. Anything you want. All you have to learn how to do is try, try, try again. That's what I want y'all to get from this. Yeah, that's tight. It took a minute. It took me about eight minutes to get in there. But I'm in there. In there is in there. Done is done. The check clears. Don't worry about no other truckers looking at you. Don't worry about no other truckers talking about how long it's taking you. Don't worry about no other truckers talking about how many pull-ups you got. None of that stuff matters. Are you in the hole? Did you not hit me thing and did the check clear? I want to lift you up. Let's go. Jesus, Joseph, I'm tight as a bull. Q, I ain't on. Wee! Bam! Right there. It's all the space you got to work with, youngin. That's how we doozy in the shroozy. See what's happening? Yeah. Oh yeah, this vlog coming soon. It's gonna be first seen on Patreon. It's a fact though. <laughs> you feel me? It's gonna be first seen on Patreon. You had the Patreon, uh Patreon slash new regime. You know what it is. I'll be dropping this one tonight. Days before it drops on YouTube. Yeah, I got it in here, know. Tight. Do better. Don't do drugs. <sighs> Five in the morning.
swear, these shippers are, it's a soap opera. First of all, I don't know if they're going to take it. Because... First stop gave me back two cents of paperwork, which is my fault. I didn't check it. I'm thinking, oh, this is the first and second stop, the copy of the first stop, and, and what I need for the second stop. No. He gives me back the, um, he gives me back the first stop. Okay. He gives me back the first stop original and the first stop copy keeps my second stop information. So I get here. Luckily, this is all the same company to where they can just look it up through the computer number on the paper. But what if I, this wasn't all the same company? I wouldn't come to the same company twice. That dude would have, I've been screwed over. Check your paperwork, man. At the end of the day, it's my fault because, at the end of the day, it's my fault because I didn't, I didn't check the paperwork. Said 30 minutes. Don't know about me. You must don't know about me. Yeah. I could do a thousand miles in a minute. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do that in a minute. Baby. Wow. Oh, Listen. I'm here at the end of this trip. Saga continues. Says been the says. 27th. And I already got my next load proposal. All right. These shippers have been a, a challenge. But I just want to convey to you that it is okay for it to be a challenge. It's okay. It's nothing wrong with that. But once you once you get good at it, man, it'll become easier, it'll become easier, it'll become easier. Saving and keeping the money is the hard part. Buying the right thing while you feel like doing this is the hard part. I need to get a realtor to speak financier to speak so I can stop the trend of truckers that are running until they buy the can no more and they don't have nothing to show for and they never thought of getting the house until they left that must stop Dealer business. You can have one on one phone time with Trucker Brown. Link in below. You can have one on one phone time with Trucker Brown. Link in below.